Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to West of Loathing. Okay, enough beating around the bush. I know I've been doing a lot of dialogue, a lot of exploring, a lot of that stuff. But we're gonna get into this tent, we're gonna see what the main stage is all about. Alright, Clown crosses his arms and grunts when you approach. The stage show ain't till later. When? Later. Yeah, but when exactly? Later. Okay, geez. What? The muscly clown don't seem to want to go- you to go with- What do you mean, later? This extremely muscular <laughs> clown seems to be guarding the entrance to some sort of main stage. Oh yeah, you look it. I'm a cowpuncher, I'll have you know. Oh, fine. I got me a ticket, but I don't have no- oh, man. Well, that sucks. Alright, fine then. If they don't want me in this clown place, then I gotta get the F out of here. And I'm out of here. Screw this! Alright, you know where I'm gonna head? I'm gonna head to the railroad camp because I've been meaning to go there for a while and I need to- ooh. I can't do that, so it don't matter. Alright, what do we got here? The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company Camp. Ugh. Well, ain't this nice. Ow. Ain't this lovely. Ow. Won't be long, dear. Oh, it'll be long, alright. This guy should never be put in charge of a switch. He's too busy playing with his watch to get any work done. Ask him where he got it. Say, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this gal who runs a store down south of here. Name a Button Willow. Button Willow Mc... Mc something. Oh yeah, I know that store. Yep, real nice store. Real nice watch. Alright, thank you. She's not getting much track laid, but she's an expert whistler. Hello, you approach the beleaguered looking man with the tiny glasses. Howdy there, who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I'd say that fellow over there in the white hat is a foreman. He points to the man next to a large pile of rocks. And if you're not, he smiles. Then I'd say that paperback idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Alrighty, thanks. Hello, you look sad. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I can do to help. You wanna know something? I love trains. Oh? Ever since I was a boy. Huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on a management of the rail line, I jumped at it like a shot. You know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you will ever imagine. You wanna help? Congratulations, you're my new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Oh! Thank you! Why'd I do that? Well, hello, I'm the foreman now. I got a nice hat to go with it. I'm the boss now? Well... Uh, now I suppose you can't be any worse than the last clown. He extends his hands. Don't talk to me about clowns! I've had many experiences with clowns recently and I don't like them. Name's Shmee. I'm your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing a giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The survivors see there's no other way around the mountain pass, so we can't reroute it even if we want to take, take months to take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it will take a lot of dynamite. A whole year's worth, I figure. We used to keep that much on hand for emergencies such as this one. But a pack of goblins stole it away. Sneaky little varmints. Alright, I'll get it back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up over in Gustav and Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might want to spend some time getting the lay of the land, but homing your fighting skills before you head that way. Especially if you plan to go getting gun blazing. You've discovered a new map location, Gustav and Gulch. We don't need that specific dynamite, though. Any you can lay your hands on would be fine, so long as there's enough of it. Alright, Smee. Well, it's a good thing I got a goblin companion. Right here in Gustav and Gulch. Well, Gustav and Gulch look to- Oh! Some thwock thwock noises lead you down to a site, in the sight of a goblin chopping down a large cactus. When it sees you, it waves its axe at you threateningly and makes some angry sounding noises. Hey, it's a human person! A human person! Away to going! It's my cactus, that's mine and not yours! Alright. Gary! Gary, can you deal with this man? Gary and the goblin chatter back and forth too quickly for you to follow. They share a laugh and the goblin gives something to Gary. Then they shake hands and the goblin goes back to work on his cactus. What was that all about? Good chat, nice fellow. What are you laughing about? You! So tall! So, so tall, very funny. Here a guffin it to given, but I die at him having. A what? I got a guffin. What's a guffin? Oh, hello! Hi, sir! A fancily dressed goblin steps forth. Hi, hello! Being a mayor! Welcome! Now going away, please! What's up, Gary? It's okay. I will handle this. Gary and the mayor converse for a bit, too quickly for you to follow what they're saying. What'd he say? He is saying, okay, for giving dynamite, boom, but you having to riddling first. Riddling? Yes! Yes, a contest game! Okay, let's having it. The mayor clears her throat. A crazy thing, having no legs at morning, and no legs afternoon, and also no legs at night. What is it? Hey, Gary not helping. That would be cheating. Bad, bad. Is it a snake? It's a no-leg horse, isn't it? 
It's a horse with no legs. It's a no leg horse. Nope, this answer is no good. But it's so wrong being so wrong. Well, shit. All right. All right, how about a snake? Nope. Aww. Well, all right then. How about an egg? Okay, yes, an egg having no legs ever. Correct. Well, except if hatching into something that legs having, but then is not egg anymore. Who so who caring? Okay, sure. Next riddle. You ready? Yeah. More eating, lighter getting, lighter getting, shorter living. What am I? A fire! Haha, <laughs> fire is not alive. Okay, whatever. Fine. Screw you. How about an egg? Nope. All right. Fine. God damn it. All right. Hang on. A mayor. Uh, okay. Yes, I am a mayor. Correct. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> okay, one more riddling. Ready? Okay. Metal thing with little teeth in a hole turning round. Entrance to my house is found. Where is it? In your vest pocket. Nope. Did looking there. All right. How about under your welcome mat? All right. Well, how about in in your hat? No. Oh, is it is it an egg? It's an egg? Well, shit. Th this one doesn't have an answer. Gary, talk some sense into him. Oh. Hello, a goblin village. How nice to introducing. I must admit. Oh, Gary, Gary also finding a key. All right. The key. I have it. Here it is. I solved the riddle. Oh, I got a year's supply of dynamite for don't eating it all at once. I'm not going to eat it. Maybe. I am the foreman, so I guess the destiny is mine to fulfill. Whatever that means. All right. Thank you. Tip my... Can I... Okay. I want to go in your town! Oh, You'd be welcome here every time, except not past here. We're standing. Thanks. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you. Well, I got it for the, the thing. Railroad camp. You want some dynamite? I got a year supply. Let me just scoot a loot over here. It's very heavy. I can't actually stand up straight with it. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Hey, buddy. Yep, here you go. A year supply. Good. Perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellas to set up the charges, and I'll let you do the honors. Smee consults with the other workers, and they inspect the rocks for a time. Eventually, one of them shrugs, pushes the whole crates of dynamite up against the rocks, and wires up a detonator. All right. Let her rip. Wait, Ed. You have a longer detonator, Gable? Nope. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get under the train. <laughs> All right. Three. Kablue. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> the surveyors didn't say anything about a crazy rock monster. Quick, you're the protagonist. Do something about it. All right, I'm tumbling. There is a very large and very angry looking thing. Guy, standing there. Apparently it's a little peeved at having a year's supply of dynamite blown up next to its butt while it was sleeping. How are you gonna handle it? I'm gonna intimidate it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna intimidate the hell out of it. Oh yeah? You want a piece of this? You think you can handle this, gravel neck? Come on, bring it! I'll show you the meaning of cleavage, or in a geological sense, I'll smash you into pebbles, boy! I'll wrap you up in rock sandpaper and cut you to ribbons, you piece of crap! Or should I say piece, piece of rock? Okay, okay, I get it, jeez, okay. Don't you forget it. Whoa, he walked away into an explosion. All right, well, I did your job for you. Well, now that is a fine day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of the track laid down and heading out now. Here, I'll mark our route on your map for you in case our paths happen to cross again. Thanks, but can't I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Ha, just kidding. Of course you don't. Every seat on this train sold out. Sorry, boss. Oh, Farewell. The remains of your triumphs over that crazy rock pile guy. Alrighty then. Well, that was fun, I guess. Alright, nothing much to see here now. Well, hey Gary, how's it going? Iron Snake has escaping westward ho. I guess, wow, I guess I can. Huh. Well, what have you then? You come across the corpse of a cowboy. How do you know it's the corpse of a cowboy? Well, you see by his outfit that he is a cowboy, and you see by his lack of flesh that he's a corpse. I'll give him a proper burial. A proper burial is the least I can do. I'm so goddamn honorable. What the hell is this place? Hello, what is the man's word? It says tannery. It's where we used to make cow skins into leather. Ah, no more wondering why cows are so angry. 
Well, you might have a point there, that is true. Sounds like there's a lot of fighting going on inside the tannery. Except instead of the regular fighting sounds you're used to, it's like shouting and gunfire and chairs being broken over people's backs. You hear a lot of ghostly bellowing and shrill cackling laughter. Sounds like a real bad scene. Let's go in! As you enter the tannery, the second thing you notice is that the place has been abandoned for years, probably since the cows came home. A lot of the equipment is wrecked and all of it covered in dust. The first thing you notice is that there's a bunch of rodeo clowns in here, fighting with... Well, they aren't clouds exactly, they're more like possessed skins of cows. That's a little strange because you've seen people wearing, for example, cow leather chaps, and you've never seen anyone being attacked by their own chaps. Maybe there's something about the tanning process that makes leather impervious to possession, and these cow ghosts, whatever's are untanned hides. In any case, the clowns and cows seem preoccupied enough with their fighting that they haven't noticed you yet. At least. Oh. Alrighty then. Lie. You keep... Keep doing your thing. Doodly do. Oh, doodly do. Why are there so many goddamn clowns here? <laughs> the door is locked, which is probably just as well considering the ruckus you hear on the other side of it. Well, I don't know why I'm here. I'm gonna get in the fight. Your attempt to sneak up on the cow fails, assuming you're, you're even sneaking and not just moseying over. The cows appear all too willing to add your face to the list of faces they hate and turn their attention from the clowns who jump on this opportunity to get the jump on their ancient enemies. I'm gonna join the fracas. Whoa! Hey, look! I'm fighting with the clowns! I don't like that at all. I don't- I actually don't like that. None- none. I don't like that none. Biff! Bap! Hoo <laughs> Bip, biap! Uh, I gotta get Gary some beef-em-ups. Because Gary- Gary- goddamn Gary, you're a little wimpy for my taste. Whip him! True to form, the clowns who were on your side in that fight to betray you. Damn clowns! God damn it! Oh, you clown bastards! I'm gonna beef them up real good and you're gonna get- Oh, you're gonna get a load of this. Whap! Alright. Well, killed those clowns, that's good. Feels kinda strange to be fighting alongside demonic clowns, but I guess war makes for strange bedfellows. Uh, please ignore the fact that I just used demonic clowns and bedfellows in the same sentence. Alrighty then! I don't know what I'm gonna do about that door, though. I think I gotta kill all these guys. Maybe. Oh, maybe I can get to that thing. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Let me just- let me just snake my way over here. Hmm. Let's see. Seeing as the makings of a real brawl, not only does one of the clowns have a nasty look in his eye, nastier than typical, I mean, but one of the possessed cow hides is stretched on a tannic frame, which makes it stronger somehow? Alright, I'll beat him up! I'll join the fracas! Can I beat up my clown fellows? Ow! Whoa! That actually hurt! Okay, bam! Okay, that guy's dead, which I assume means the clowns are gonna turn on you. The clowns turn on you after the cow- yep, this is not surprising. Alright, so that guy- Oi! Hey! Hey! Owie! Jeezums! Alright, I'm gonna get beefy. Bam! Get stunned, bitch! I'll bite- Uh-oh. Well, this- this actually- this actually seems like it might be bad. Holy shit. Ha! I'll rope him! I'm gonna rope ya! Not that one! Oh god damn it! That's not the one I was selecting that guy! Ah oh, shit! I use this. Alright, well drop it on your head. That's good. Yep, that that works too. Okay, now wump him. Wump him up. One more wump and that guy's done. That guy's done for. That guy's done for. Bam! Get out of here, bitch. Oh, now it's just you guys? Yeah, oh, I got you. I got your number. Bam! Up up! Okay. Got him down. Got him down. Don't know why I did that. Varmint skin knife, tannery backdoor key. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Hey, Bones. How's it going? The body must have been lying here. Tannery Saint Rage key. Saint Rage? Who the hell is Saint Rage? Now that sounds bad also. I'm gonna give myself more of this good stuff. Alright, that's a good level up. That's not bad. Unlock it. Oh boy, oh jeez. This is not a good situation to be in. You quickly hide behind some old tan hides. Huh. Is that what they're called that? There are three clowns out here, each armed with a nasty looking knife. One of them is licking his knife, and the sound makes you think he's literally sharpening the blade on his tongue. They're facing down two of the stretched hide cows, and a monstrous thing that looks like an entire cow skeleton draped in flayed cow skin. Listen in. I bet you think- you lot think you're real clever, breaking through the human plane. Did you think we wouldn't follow you? Moo. Did you think you'd find a weapon here to use against us, or are you just trying to escape? Moo. What? Take that back! None of them seem to have noticed you. It looks like you could sneak th back through the door if you're really careful. I'll come back! I'll come- I'll come back! I'll be real careful about my sneak snunkin'. Let me go to the- I need to go back to dirt water real quick because I need to get some more supplies, especially to beef Gary up. Okay. Oh! That's right! I forgot I needed to go to Stern's Ranch! That was like the first place that I was supposed to go. Wasn't- No, not the ranch. Not the ranch. I needed to go to the desert house. 
That was it. Ah. Oh, I got a meat nugget just out in the plains. That's fine. I got a sneak snunk. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've been here. Oh, I'm a sneak snunk my way over here. This doghouse contains an angry dog. <laughs> give him. Oh, give the dog a bone. With a knick knack patty whack, you achieve your aim. The dog begins contentedly gnawing on a human femur. Good for him. Good for him indeed. Not good for him that I'm gonna beat up his masters over here. All right. The hinges on the gate are really rusty. If you open it, the guys inside are definitely gonna hear it. All right, bring it on. We got the jump on him this time, buddy. Beef up and get ready to smack. Bam. Oh, jeez. These guys are much, much weaker than, uh, much weaker than they should be because I should have faced them ages ago. Hiya! Hiya! Oh. It wasn't ready for the beef. Bag of ears and such. Desert Gang six gun. And a black hat. It's not, it's not the hard hat. Don't be afraid of this hat. It's not inherently bad. It's just a common style of choices for bad guys. All right, whatever you say. Is it a stylish black hat? How's it look? Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice hat. Oh, that's a nice hat. Oh, that is a goddamn nice hat. Oh, man. I mean, General Gob's hat is real good here, but oh, that is a, oh, better than my four gallon hat. Oh, I gotta go with that one. Mm, uh, mm, gotta go with it. Mm, ah. Oh, look how cool I look! Oh, look how I look! All right, I gotta go back to town now, cause uh, I just got this. These guys. Howdy there. I'm Wandering Sally. Howdy, Sally. I'm Muffler. Oh, trading. Care to see the wares? I'll see the wares. Wandering Sally's camp. Oh, okay. All right, Ben. Bag of shroom grow. I need that. I do. Oh, needles. Need that definitely. Work boots. Mm, I'm okay. All right, jail. Here we go. Howdy, what can I do for you? Here's what's left of the desert gang. Ooh. Yeah. This is, <laughs> certainly is a bag of severed ears and teeth and such. Which gang was this? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, the house in the desert gang. I'll take your word for it. Good job. Well, didn't know I... I didn't know I was... I didn't know I killed him. Wait, was there a way to not kill him? How was that way? I'm not sneaky. I'm a cow puncher. I punch people. Real hard. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, Paw Temkin Gang for unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction regulations. Unregistered settlement north. All right, well, I'll go check it out. Black Hat Bandits for horse theft and the selling of counterfeit glue. Last seen headed north towards the old millinery. No good can come of critters, sills, crit critical, critters, crit critters, millinery, millinery, millinery. Ah, I'm gonna go for these guys. You ever run in with the worst smelling snake you've ever come in your life? Basically a cartoon stink line come to life. I gotta fight that one. Oh jeez, what a funny snake. Oh, I gotta give him the shroom grow. That's right. Bam. Alright, good. Gary, eat this. Gary's more powerful now, apparently. That's... That's weird. Alright, going in there. It's the law! Skedaddle! Find five bandits lounging around a big pile of half-made hats. The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Guess you'll have to wrangle them individually. Well, all right then. Patch of filthy floor wears a lot of hats. <laughs> all right. Brims. All right. Music. This apparently was a demo model from a player piano showroom. It's only got three songs in it. They're all different children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invented public domain, and they're all set up to play just the first few seconds. The people who worked here must have hated it. What song do you want to set it to dial to? Hang on a second, I'll- I'll get it there. Let me just look in here. Ooh, this door is very locked. Alright. You pick the lock. The remaining bandits will corner you if you go in there now. Better take care of them first. Alright. Yellow Rose? You changed the song on the piano. Is that whistling you hear? Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. Ah. Ah, uh, I get it. I get it. Is this where they're hiding? Jacuz! Jacuz! Bang! Yeah, that's right. Get out of there. Well, that's one. Oh, I probably could have not killed him. I didn't know. All right, well, hat number room number one is obviously you. Jacuz! Jacuz! Bang! I <laughs> got you. All right, that's two down. So these all must be clues to something. Oh, 
I saw that. I saw that. Dequeues. Bang. Get out there. All right. Three or five down. Oh. Ah, there you are. I hear you there. Jacuz! Bang! Wake up, buddy boo. It's time to get up. Okay, there's only one more of you guys left. Only one more. Oh, wait. I see it. One of you guys has a different hat. It's gotta be you, right? Jacuz! Bang! Ha 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 ha! I've got all of you. Deal with them. Oh, turn them in. Okay. Goodbye! Oh, where'd you find him? The old millinery? Of course. You know, bandits would be a lot harder to find if they didn't keep picking such thematic hideouts for some reason. Anyway, here's your word. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Just wanted to say hi. All right. Well, goodbye. All right. The Gherkin Brothers for kidnapping, bringing kidnapping victims, and attempted sale of human flesh for consumption. Well, last scene added for the old abandoned pickle factory. Can't let these dastardly criminals escape justice. All right, fine. Fine, if that be the way that it's gonna be. I'll get the Potom Kim gang later. Oh, this is haunted, is it? A haunted factory? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, let's see what's up. Feel a sudden electrical jolt as your hand touches the doorknob. Oh no, you're too late. You're late for your shift. Mrs. Vlas is gonna be so mad. She might literally bite your head off? Okay, well, not literally, literally. Probably. Quick, get suited up. You clock in and hurriedly put on your bright green coveralls. Mrs. Vlas has predicted is furious. Late again? You better stop taking this job for granted. You think you're gonna find a place with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced comedy store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Ha ha ha. You're doing three shifts today, buster. Get to work, you're on pickle hopper duty. Okay. Pickle hopper duty runs you ragged, like always. Keeping the hoppers filled with a constant flow down the chutes mean you're constantly at a near sprint because you have to manage the kook shunts. <laughs> the cuke shunts to keep the levels equal. If you get uneven pickle levels, Mrs. Vlast knows. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows. A whack from her cane is the minimum you'll get. Damn it, damn it, damn it. At the end of the first six hour shift, you get a brief break. You cram a stale cheese sandwich into your mouth while Mrs. Vlast glares at her pocket watch, counting down three minutes to the second. Breaks over second shift, you get over the salt tank now. Oh God, managing the salt tank isn't as strenuous as the pickle hoppers, but it's never still a never ending tedium. The brine concentration has to be constantly monitored and kept at a very specific measurements, which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel you're desiccating from the haze of salt dust that fills the room. If anything in this place kills you, it's probably gonna be the salt tank duty. White lung is a nasty business. Cough. Cough on your own dime and give that salinity back to normal. It's supposed to be 976 parts per thousand. How hard is that to remember? 976, idiot! Please let me out of here. You get another 180 second break before the third shift. You spend most of it drinking water. The company doesn't charge for water, but you've heard a rumor they're considering it. Break's over, get to the boiler! Oh no, please let me out. Boiler duty means shoveling coal into the furnace. A furnace that runs a giant tank of boiling vinegar. It stings in here. You've tried to work with your eyes closed, but Mrs. Vlast screams if you drop any coal on the floor. Or if you let the temperature get too low, or too high, or just for no particular reason. At least you're used to the smell of boiling vinegar. In fact, you can't smell anything anymore. Let me out, please, let me out. 190 degrees, idiot! Not 189! Not 191! What do you think we pay you for? You don't really miss your sense of smell, or not coughing all the time. You don't really want anything anymore. Except to die. Let me out, let me out, let me out! With a gasp, you finally snap out of the horrible hallucination, or possession, or whatever the hell that was. Jeez, you can still feel the sting of vinegar vapor in your eyes. I'll enter. Okay, I'm in here now, apparently. <laughs> well, that was fun. Ah, factory activation letters. All right. Well, I'm supposing I was supposed to remember all this. Cukes. All right, these gotta be equal. Cuke shunt. Chunk, chunkles. Is that even? Not quite. Oh, no, nah, too much. Oh boy. Oh, what are you doing? You press the ghost. Got it, got it. Can't sleep until it's right. You all right there, partner? Can't sleep. Oh, cuke shunts are to be operated by qualified personnel only. I'm pretty qualified. Maybe. Hey, that's even! That's even! That's even, baby! That's even! Okay, even Steven. Salt. Of course. Reads 531. It was 977? I think it was 970 something. It was 970 something. I can't remember what it was. Alright. Well, this is supposed to be 190 something. Take the shovel. Well, I got a shovel, but that's not what I wanted. 
Add some coal. Bloof! Bloof! This is supposed to be 190. Bam! Oh, not that. Ah, oh, frick. Bam. No! God damn it. I was so close. Ah! Come 19, fuck you! Yeah! 190! Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it! It's not right, it's not right. The vinegar, vinegar is 190 degrees. It's finally done. Thank you. The ghost smiles as he fades away. A few bones hit the ground below it. Rest in peace, you vinegar-soaked bastard. Hey, the cukes are even! You wanna- are you done? Gotta- took care of the cucumbers. It's finally done. Thank you. The ghost smiles as he fades away. A few bones hit the ground. Pile of bones and cucumbers. Weird, okay. Alright then. Well, they're done. Ah! Oh, it was 976. Salt crusted skull. And that just leaves the factory activation. You got three ghost pickles. All that work for three pickles? No wonder this place went out of business. Well, okay then. Did I. Did I duns it? Am I done? Did I do that? Did I do it? There's a ghost. Ah, oh, why would they. Why would you make something like this? You could have sworn there was an empty, dusty room. You could have sworn there was a vinegar tank and a boiler in there. Why would you make something like that up? You know what? I just don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Alrighty then, that was, that was bizarre. Okay, alright. Anyway, that is all the time I got for this episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I don't know why we went on a ghostly pickle adventure. But frankly, I don't know if I want to know. So thank you again everybody for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!